And MMY, take my energy. <laughs> You're doing beautiful, beautiful work. Yeah, truly. And did I attempt? Oh, that was so close by No-Tail. Now she pulled out a little bit early there, LGD, but Sila stuck around a little bit longer. Gets the money for himself. What's coming on that courier? So the Oak Club's arrived for Sila. You've got almost 1,300 life on this gyro with the phase boots. His damage output's wonderful. Yeah. And they're going to smoke. They want to keep the pressure on. No tier 1 tower. Make the most before C9 can get vision up. Probably going to go straight for the DKB as well, but I wouldn't be surprised to see him go into the Sanchi Asha build in this game as well. Or well, see if they can find Just, Fada here. If he runs for the trees... Oh, and he ran for the trees. He, is available. This is the one time you don't listen to HY HY. Fade up, real, real trouble. Yeah, and that means the top tower is compromised. So they're just going to try and push mid. They do have, well, it's only a level one nether blast. So I'm not going to say they have good pushing. Yeah. But they're actually wrapping up. And they're going to lose well. a courier too if they're not careful. Xiao Wei, one attack. Gyro, and oh, it's not enough. 20 HP, but Hookshot comes in. They go on Xiao Wei. The Fable will help do the job, but the call down. Both oh, seven, the Blade no. Mail! Sila kills himself! Beautiful. That is a huge, huge kill. The and then why? Yep, they're keeping Bone Seven alive. It's Notile again using that drain to actually funnel it into Misery. MMY, the Fissure, actually stolen by Misery, slowing him down. They have to keep the run going, but MMY. He would love to make it to the regeneration room, but avoids the rocket. SF is tanking the top tower. They'll TP support him. They Yao, this. he's got a fissure above, keeping Fader and everybody out. Oh, that was a nice fissure by Yao. Wow, with that blade mail though, paying dividends in that fight. So Clockwork doing some good work. Bone Seven has been playing really well in this game. Mm -hmm. His score. Three kills, two deaths, and two assists. This is so much space creation and no tell. Okay, well, now he might be dead. Uh, okay, <laughs> well, the, the, the cross fissure. <laughs> They're like, yeah, you're not leaving. You're, you're staying there, buddy. The X marks the spot. Oh, poor, poor Pugna. But it is just a Pugna. It doesn't really matter if he does. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's, it's not just, very It's just an easy kill for the SF. And probably more than anything else, just seeing that money come into the SF after he's already picked up the mech. Yeah. Uh, and the Gyrocopter, like, he was a bigger kill. The fact they got the kill oh, on the him. Oh, the Dominating Streak? Yeah, they yeah. killed that. He was, it was a 4-0 for Sylar, and he was so far ahead in the net worth, but he still is. But what they've created is oh, they space for event. Eternal yeah. Envy. They actually got killed. No, he shouldn't have thrown him back. Oh, maybe. Oh, they could have killed the Shadow Fiend there, actually, with the Blade Mail, but their Sentry Ward, at least keeping the Rubik safe, almost got a kill from it. It's like bottom lane, Envy has to blink himself away. Sylar's getting up in his face. But this top tower is very, very low. It's actually within deny range, too. It is now, yeah. So it's and, a choice. Uh, there's a ward. They're going to get rid of this, the lane ward. I like the deep ward by uh, LGD on the top part of the map, the one next to the temple. Very nice. It's a little bit more of an unusual position. Yeah, it's it's one of those wards that you're going to have for its full duration, pretty guaranteed. Yep. Very unlikely to get dewarded. Well, there's your deny of that top tower. Yep. While Envy is like running around and farming bounty runes and stuff. <laughs> While Jara is farming up the, it's uh, the, the warrior's radio jungle. way, man. He has to do the warrior's way to anti mage. It's not about that safe farm, it's about the struggle. So I'm wondering though, even once he gets his battle fury, how much control will he have on the map? Oh, nothing. Like, because all uh, tier one towers are gone. <laughs> it's not about control, it's about being very, very sneaky. So he's oh. just gonna run around and hope that he doesn't get seen by any of the words. I hate to tell you, man, but they have, like, Bane and Earthshaker. Yeah, <laughs> if if they... you want two guys who can catch him out, and especially when Earthshaker is only 100 gold away from his Blink Dagger, you're in trouble as an anti-mage. Yeah, but Envy, Envy doesn't want to hear about the hardships. He knows about them. He's going to pull through, I believe. Uh, he'll have to be you do, know, doing it, pretty strong, man. Out of all teams, if you're new to Dota, out of all teams that you could possibly choose as your favorite, C9 is the most painful to be a fan of. <laughs> It actually hurts. Well, was, what Nahas was uh, tweeting out as well, uh, like the top 10 gold comebacks for Cloud9, they're actually in four of them. <laughs> Three is losing and one is winning. <laughs> uh, if, if you're looking to sit in your edge of your seat when you have a, a game, Cloud9 tends I to mean, give you that. I mean, the previous game, they had a 20,000 gold lead and lost. So that has to feel bad. This game, they're not going to have that problem, though. Uh, <laughs> so maybe it true. works the other one around. Very, very true. It's because LGD kicks in early. Now yeah. you actually get double blade mail. So both Fader as well as Clockwork oh, have picked up the blade mail. But at the same time, I'm looking at a gyrocopter almost fishing a BKB. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. Because as I said, what I was worried about this game for C9 is the BKB timings of LGD. Yes. And when they are up... Your blade mail is 
will count for nothing. Yes. So it has to be paying off before that or just in these pickoff scenarios. Because, yes, the 682 HP Leshrac, he, he will probably die very easily to it. He's but, very, very squishy. Yes. And but at the uh, same time, Leshrac isn't going to do that high level of damage when the blade mails are up. He just sits at the back lines, uses four stuff. Yeah. And uh, he's even got himself a, a coke, uh, a, a cloak, a coke, a cloak, <laughs> not sponsors, <laughs> a beverage. <laughs> Can keep yourself hydrated. <laughs> um, he's got himself a cloak, so even the initial damage may not be enough to kill him off. Because yeah. the blade mail might, might be like that final nail in the coffin when the lightning bounces. It might be. They have a lot of heroes that you know, whether they like it or not, will deal. Uh, AoE no damage. tail. The echo slam on oh. bottom. They actually had a fresh glimmer cape from MMY, and Yao walked in and then blinked in for the Echo Slam kill. Yeah, that's beautiful. I bring Oblivion. A little bit, you know, interestingly timed here. And, uh, yeah, Big Daddy averaged the third highest deaths in 6.84. That's, Poor boy. That's a really sad stat. Like, come on, Nox. You meant to make us feel really happy about life and yeah. everything. Zhao Wei hook shot up. That glimmer came from MMY. They weren't seeing him there. The Nightmare on the clockwork. And they could just wind up for the Requiem. Oh, or why not when you got double raises? The Blade Mail went off. But after the damage was done, like one last hit to kill him off. They don't get the sun over on Misery in time. But now that you've got that kill and you've got a lot of people on top, in fact, the entire team, just go for the top. And Zhao Wei also showing that he doesn't need HP if he just is quick on his four staff. He got away, took no damage, and he can also use this item, of course, to defend his teammates against the Clockwork Hook. Having a quick four staff against Clock is super important. Is Cloud9 going for a Roshan? <laughs> I, they're, 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 they're three men smoking. No, they they're losing tier they two can't. tower. They're, I don't even think they can kill it. No, no, no. no. This, this is a Roshan. Oh, they're more. gonna they're gonna heal the anti mage. Okay, they can do it, but it's this the, is the gimmicky. The, the most ultimate YOLO play, if you're ever behind, the normal rule is go okay. and try and take Roshan. Uh, they but, can do it. But I mean. Misery's also pushing the bottom lane, so this is going to force a TP in from Syla. Now, everyone's missing from the map. LGD are probably sitting there going, why are they not defending top what tower? What could they possibly where, be doing Where right are now? Cloud9? Like, if, if you go the normal trade-off, it's Roshan for tier 2 tower. I mean, on, this on is play. really smart. They're getting something very, very high value here. So yes. as much as we're laughing, but this was wait, an amazing Can play. they get out? Like, that's another question. Oh, You're going to blink away, up it's and fine. away. Fader, however, will not be so lucky. Turns on the blade, Mel, the call down. He doesn't have mana for Laguna. And in fact, Sila, just in case, triggered the BKB anyway. They'll find no tail in the trees. A stun from Zhao Wei will catch him out. So they lose two, but for the glory of Envy, you now have an Aegis of the Immortal, and he lives to farm another day. Yep, that is, that is the case. They're gonna have to rely on Envy in the in the mid to late game. Envy playing some one protect four. <laughs> and that worked beautifully. They it, got the Roshan. Sure they died a little bit, but yeah. it's still better than what has been going on until now. True. And I, I, now I they have ages. I can't so. debate that. And if Envy can get himself bigger, if he can like, the, okay, this is the point where maybe we should start looking at the anime of Cloud9. Does he still have to go into a Manda style, looking to burn off the mana of the well, of the Lashrak early on? Is he even a concern, or do you go for oh, the BKB? Gonna He's going to find Zhao Wei, <laughs> and uh, a very quick movement away. Envy into the trees, oh, tries to hide oh. one second till Blink. He'll move up, going up even deeper into uh, the trees on him. the northern side. The Yao, Blink shaker. Blink's got bl He's got Blink in one second time now. Envy has a TP scroll, yeah. is refusing to use it while Bone Seven destroys the tower. Ye Yao actually goes and fidgets over on Bone Seven. He does have Echo Slam, and that might he, he, no, he can't get close enough. The cogs yeah. are blocking him. He can't reach him. So after Fisher comes out there, he's like, yeah, safe TP. And they do get out. They're wasting time of LGD. So very nice. They're moving around them, he's TPing down to keep farming with the Anti-Mage. He's actually catching up to the net and, worth of both uh, SF and Jaro. He definitely needs to go Manta style in this game. Like, there's, you're, you're there's not no relevant choice. in teamfight. You can go for the Vladimir's first, but I, I think you have to go... Uh, you're going late game in this. Like you, yeah. like, I, I say mean, late game. Like The rest of your team... Push you up for a good mid late game. There's no game when you don't want to have a Manta style and anti mage. You always want it. Definitely against heroes like Leshrac, the. He bought a Vlad's Shaker. recipe. Yeah. He bought a Vlad's recipe. Uh, it, it's just because he realizes if he goes Manta straight away now, he probably still won't be able to fight. Hmm. So going Vladimir lets him keep farming a little oh, bit more. Oh, but... they caught him out. The Echo Slam and the follow up stuns. It's not just one, it should be two, with the lightning from Zhao Wei reaching him. The Aegis Seymourla is instant fiend script from MMY. You thought maybe a second life was enough to give you space. It will not do so, though. 
and he was 200 gold away from the Vlads. Yeah, that is unfortunate for him, and of course this tier 2 tower looking very compromised right now. Gonna run up and put down Nether Ward, and gonna try and defend it? Maybe. Well, there is that Nether Ward down. They're still thinking about it. A lot of spells were committed to kill Envy and uh, Bone 7 there. If Bone 7 respawns, they can fight. Well, they can just do it with the physical damage. Maybe he's got a double damage rune on this SF. Okay, they're, they're just gonna let him. And they trigger the mech early on the Fissure. A three man's down from Yao. He caught the line perfect. And what Misery being brain sapped up after being Nightmare prepared. And Sila, well, okay. Rocket Barrage for 7 with the BKB. The cooldown is gonna connect, and he doesn't take the damage. Actually, he does take the damage from the second rocket, but he's back in the safety of his base, and with the mystery buyback, C9, LGD uh, back out. C9 just has to invite LGD to uh, return to favor, you know? Like, have you seen our fountain? <laughs> have you met fountain? Okay, they're gonna back That's out. A match made in heaven. They're gonna back out. Roshan, of course, not available because oh. of C9's cheeky little play right now. So, bottom lane should be the next objective here, as the yep. tier 2 is still standing. No reason to go high ground too early. Even if you're against an AM, make sure you don't stress too much. Yep, because they can definitely punish her. Yeah, just just be comfortable. Like like take the farm in the, oh, in the jungle, the push the lane out. Look but, at that money! Like he actually managed to recover really nicely. Yeah, he's day. almost a call. If he gets that BKB, then again the blade mouth won't even affect yeah. him. Um, not to mention any mage, Mr. Vladimir's offering, who he can he has, has bought it now. The courier is going to transfer it to him. He's up in the dire jungle at the moment. Yeah, and should I mean, we just TP more up? Yeah, MMY and Silo already preparing for the defense on top lane. Yeah. But that also means that C9 managed to avert the tier 2 bottom pressure by just going up here and pressure. MMY, there's your nightmare. Starting on bonus 7, use the Glimmer Cape to get in close. Homing missile and call down. The fissure follow up into an echo. Uh, well, not even the echo, it was just a, a normal totem stomp. Middle lane, Envy, first on. Do they have enough damage before he can blink? And the answer is no. He is running himself away. Maybe had that double damage, which is why I thought maybe they would have enough. Maybe, but the Vladimir's provides some good armor. He has 15 armor before the presence of the Dark Lord, so he's he's pretty hard to bring down with the right clicks. And of course, Spell Shield works wonders as well. But this, uh, yeah, this Leshrac plays an interesting, like, semi-core role, as you said, because him and Shaker are both pretty rich. Ed Playing B. around Envy. Envy is, like, Envy surrounded. Them. He's surrounded by three. He's just going to blink into the trees and TP yeah. out. Bound no tell. He won't be so lucky. He oh, does have a TP scroll available. <laughs> Try and juke it around the tree line. Decrepify. He's waiting for the stun, but the stun's going to be the final death blow from Zhao. Wait. <laughs> this ward keeps pestering them. But still, though, with all these deaths happening, they're still trying to keep the pressure off. But now, finally, it seems to LGD are going to try and get the tier 2 bottom. Mm -hmm. Can they set up for top in any way? Not really. Does it they need the clockwork. It's, it's kind of impossible as well when you're going into a gyrocopter because yeah. he's just going to pop BKB, call down Waka Barrage, and even having that Eagle Song now just casually sitting on him. Yeah, he's so strong. Yeah. You'll, you'll probably find yourself dying two heroes to probably just get the one. I mean, this game, every trade and everything that happens, you have to go from the disaster perspective. You have to think, okay, the game was absolutely terrible, I and what can we achieve now? <laughs> Did you have a mech on their Pugna? Just the, uh, the issue is it's 25 minutes in. It's, it's a mech on a Pugna. Shall wait. Well, a little bit too oh. close. They're going to pick him up, throw him back, four stuff, he'll actually Very die. Very nice. Misery picks up 707 gold onto his Rubik and shared gold in the AUE there as well. So 1285 gold for one kill. I'll take it. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. And yeah. that's a sort of extension. But before Zhao Wei died, he bought his full BKB. Yeah. So he doesn't lose any money for it at all. Yeah. He just gives money for it. Well, C9 are going.